What happened to Soul Press? Well, didn't we just cover that? No. It's I okay. thought our souls were getting pressed. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Action. I watched another video on this. Uh, apparently, right. the uh, president <laughs> fucking yeeted. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it's going to be, this is going to be a fun topic. So what happened to Soul Press? Soul Press was the North American localization company that specialized in manga, light novels, and visual novels. Founded in 2017, it had a lot of promise for a small publisher, licensing beloved niche titles like Chivalry of a Failed Knight, Blend S, and Is the Order a Rabbit? But its release schedule was always erratic, indicating troubles behind the scenes. The final nail in the coffin came late last year when the business was listed as FTB for, uh, forfeited on the California Secretary of State's website, meaning the business taxes weren't paid. The Newton and the Apple Tree visual novel was delisted from Steam in November. In February, all Soul Press books were removed from Bookwalker Global. What happened to Soul Press? Michael Valdez, a.k.a. Zev, the, for the founder and CEO of Soul Press, has not responded to messages, even from the core members of the Soul Press team, since mid-2021. Naturally, he could not... Uh, he could not be contacted for this article. In order to understand what exactly happened to the company, I spoke to some key figures familiar with Soul Press from its beginnings. A business revolving around one guy. So according to translator Andrew Hodgson, a.k.a. Steiner, Valdez, uh, Valdez was an outsider to the world of, of localization filled with big ideas and ambitions about shaking up the industry. His charisma as an individual was the reason the, indus the industry veterans were willing to work with his venture. Quote, having dinner with him was always a pleasant experience, Hodgson recalls. Quote, he was very friendly and polite, and I have to admit, very charming. Bango, the translator who worked on Newton and the Apple Tree, credits Soul Press and Valdez as a major turning point in his life. He was a kind man, Bango told me. <laughs> what a name. Uh, he knew of my unstable situation in Venezuela and always sent care packages for my family. He even paid for a medical procedure my grandma had to go through at the time. Bango now lives in Panama, studying translation in university. Okay, that was some details I didn't know about. I didn't need to know about. I didn't care. On the other hand, Hodgson, or Hodgson, Hodgson said that Valdez's inexperience with localization meant that he underestimated the cost of licenses and overestimated the sales potential. When the business encountered difficulties, he was un, uh, he was uncommunicative with team uh, with the team. Furthermore, because he is the only person with full access to the financials, his disappearance means that nobody else has been able to run the company in his stead. Allegations of missed payments and poor pay. Rumors around poor pay and inefficient leadership began to circulate on social media around January 2019. He Ray, who joined the company as a project manager in 2018 after the Sekai project layoffs, publicly disavowed Soul Press in March 2020, citing months of uncompensated work on under one wing on the under one wing visual novel project. On top of her management work, she handled marketing, image editing, and quality assurance. He Ray told me that Valdez was very insistent on competing on completing the project as quickly as possible and used this as the reason for not paying the originally agreed rate. The, uh, the conversation allegedly happened after months of ghosting, during which He Ray accumulated approximately $10,000 US worth of labor. According to He Ray, Valdez's final offer was $1,400, after initially offering $1,000. Note, I was not able to obtain a copy of the contract to confirm the original terms of agreement. Oh, okay. Well, then he's probably on the up and up. Uh, I had contacted Valdez via a lawyer to try to get him to respond several times, he Ray claimed, but received no response. The legal expenses were paid out of her own pocket, but were too steep for her to continue pursuing the matter. She has still not been paid the $10,000. The irony in this instance was that Under One Wing was completed in just six months, a, con a conventional time frame for a 20 to 30 hour visual novel localization and shorter than Soul Press's subsequent projects. Although the technical jargon proved a significant barrier for translation, the team has committed to, uh, was committed to the timeline. The game was released on Steam on February 28, 2019, after being delayed from its original February 15th launch. He Ray is proud of what the team accomplished under the constraints and informed me that everyone else in the localization did eventually get paid. 
She personally made sure the other members got paid before asking to be compensated for her work. Uh, what a say. Uh, there are there are other similar stories among freelancers of late payments and arbitrarily lowered rates. Even those who were paid on time with their originally agreed amount remarked that Soul Press paid significantly below industry standard. One cent per character was hardly proper, but I don't know any better, Bango told me. I was too used to peanuts to think I needed more. Leaving the hellhole that was Venezuela showed me that surviving wasn't a goal of life, I suppose. So what will happen to Soul Press titles in the future? So with Valdez still missing in action, much of the future of Soul Press remains up in the air. Honestly, it's probably dead in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> it sounds like. Soul Press community manager T. Smalls told me that he's been finding out new developments along with the public, but he was able to provide some key insights regarding the future of Soul Press's existing titles. First of all, Steam and Bookwalker Global aren't the only storefronts removing Soul Press titles because they are being removed by request of the original Japanese license holders. It will eventually become impossible to purchase Soul Press titles anywhere. I wouldn't say it's safe to assume Soul Press titles will be removed from all retailers by the years by the end of the year. I would say it is safe to assume that they'll be removed by the end of the year, T Small says. For refunds, consumers are unfortunately on their own. I saw this. Hello, everyone. It's T Smalls, social media manager. This is a simple update post for those who may be who may not be in the Discord or in the know. This is not the post you wish it to be. Unfortunately, I believe we have reached a point where I can no longer provide refunds. I'd say 90% of orders I can no longer refund. We are in a complete standstill. Nothing can be done until our CEO returns. For any further questions or answers, please join the Soul Press Discord. Then I also saw this one. LMAO dodged a bullet there. Fuck the localization. This person, this person has a tweet here. It says, Hello, my name is Blank, and I'm the editor-in-chief at Soul Press. I wanted to follow up with you in regards to the editor test you recently completed. First and foremost, congratulations! We found your editor test to be fantastic and would be happy to offer you a position as soon as one becomes available. If this is something you would still be interested in, please let me know, and I will be sure to email you as soon as we have a project ready for you. To which they replied, the test I recently completed was completed 14 months ago when I was given the test. I finished it shortly after I received it. I set aside time to make sure there was a prompt turnaround out of respect for Soul Press's time. I made multiple inquiries about the status of my test, only to have radio silence until now, 14 months later. There have also been multiple allegations of Soul Press not paying staff on time, if at all. With all that considered, I'm going to have to make the very easy decision of declining your offer. Take care. <laughs> Sounds like they're pretty SOL. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the that was the 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 master plan the whole time. So for refunds, consumers are unfortunately on their own. T-Smalls was able to issue refunds through the store's back end until last month, but possibly because the account has been overdrawn, the process now requires the absent CEO's direct handling. Until Valdez returns, uh, consumers will have to tackle the process themselves through their bank or PayPal. What are the odds of a rescue license for popular titles? The only thing in this whole thing I care about. Right now, it's small, but technically not impossible. Although the original Japanese publishers retain the rights for the titles, any company that wants to reissue Soul Press's translations would need to sign an agreement with Soul Press directly. And the remnants of the, companies, of the company are currently locked out from doing any kind of business transaction. If a different publisher were to license a former Soul Press title, they would have to, they would have to retranslate it from the start with significantly lowered sales expectations because it was already previously available in English. There are very few titles for which this would make business sense. If there is a title you desperately want to see a rescue license for, be sure to get in contact with other publishers about it, and even more importantly, indicate that you are willing to double dip on your purchase. It's an unfortunate situation for everyone, but that is the reality of failed businesses and the burdens they leave behind. Update. He Ray clarified in the later correspondence with ANN that Valdez's final offer for the project management was $1,400 after initially. Okay. Anyway... There we go. That's news. 